Hello friends of the SAP Analytics Cloud. This is of course Xavier Hocking for HackingSAP.com and Interdops. In today's video, I want to have a look at performance and then specifically performance when using scripting to filter on data. So I have a very simple story here on the screen with a table uh, with a live connection to BW, a source, and what I want to do here is I want to filter this table by country by using a simple script. So what you could do now is uh, add, for example, a button and say, okay, let's, let's name this button uh, US because I want to filter on the US data. I can add a script to this and do something like, uh, like this here. Go data, source, set dimension filter. And from here, I can select the country that I want to filter on. Oh. So let's save this. Um, what you now can do is use the performance optimization option to do some script analysis in the view time. So if I click this, the story will run in the new window, just as whenever you click on view here. But now an additional parameter in the URL has been added. My performance logging is true. So what this does is it will show you the impact of every script that you're triggering in this story. So we now only have that simple script of one line uh, which filters this table on country US. So let's trigger it. I click on it and well, the script works. My data is now filtered by country US. But if I now open this um, the script logging view, I can do that by typing in control shift A. Then I get a layover. And from this layover, I can see what the throughput time is of each action. So we only had one action, so that's the first line here. And it says, okay, um, you, you clicked on this button underscore one on click script. It took about, uh, let's say, 1.3, uh, 1300 milliseconds. Um, but it also gives you some information on some possible improvements. So we see, okay, it, it's taking 1.3 seconds, but in red, it says, uh, fetch description for members from dimension Z country is taking, well, let's say about 40% of this time, uh, 600 milliseconds. What, what happens here? So it says, fetch description for members from dimension. So what the tool is now doing, it's doing a round trip towards the back end to fetch the description of the yeah, the selection that I just made. So it's going back to BW in this case to figure out, okay, for US, what would be the description belonging to that uh, key value, to that ID? Well, I don't need that. I only need the script to put a filter on uh, my table. So there's a way to, to prevent this round trip from happening. Let's add another button. US2 and I can start the script in the same way so get data source set dimension filter that's still the same but now instead of yeah, selecting members from directly from this open member selector I'm using a so-called member info object and this member info object contains both the idea and the description. So how does it look like? I can set it up like this. I can say, okay, my ID, that should be US. Description is United States. Uh, but actually I can also leave this empty. It, uh, it doesn't matter for this filter. Let's save this. 
and try this again. Oh. So we have the report loaded again. I'm using my shortcut Control Shift A once more. Oh, of course, nothing has happened now because I haven't clicked the button yet. So I'm now clicking on this second button. Click. The filter once again works, so that's good. Let's now see what happened in the um, in the script performance. Well, you notice there's no more red bar in here. Um, my super time is 612 milliseconds, while in the first example we had a loading time of more than double of that. So this whole fetching of the descriptions um, is gone now in my optimized mode and as you can see it, 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 well, it saves me about 50% of the time in, in this case. And this is actually a very small data set and a very fast query. We've also seen this with very large data sets, for example, 80, 90, 100 million rows of data. This is gonna save you a lot of time. And it will have a lot of impact on your user experience if you don't optimize your script in a way uh, like this. So we now did this for uh, a, a single selection. Um, well, let's also show how that would look like when I have multiple uh, selections in here. So let's do um, US and Germany. Well, in the set dimension filter, I can simply add Germany like this with a simple array. Functionally, the filter works, the script works in the film. But again, we get this fetch description. So let's do this with um, the member info. For this, we have to build up an array, so we can do something like this for create of the type um, member info. And now we can push the individual numbers or the, the in individual values into this um, into this array. Push, um, for example, this uh, US, oh, US, and the description. Well, I'll uh, just leave this empty. We don't need this, and I can do the same for uh, for Germany. And then eventually we do the Z dimension filter on the country. Like this. Save and execute. It's nicely filtered once more. Control Shift A will give me this overlay. And as you can see, no more fetching uh, of descriptions, only the blue bar. 
So I think that that's an important tip when you um, apply these dimension filters on widgets by using scripting in your uh, SEC applications. See you around next time. Bye-bye.